welcome back to Let's Play Battlezone. It's been a while, but here I am once again, your host, Corporal Gerberos, bringing you the first mission on Venus. Man, I fucking hate this goddamn planet. Let's get to it. There was no love to be found on Venus. Only vengeance. We were there to take back the relic we lost on Mars. But it was so much more to all of us. This was a time for us to strike back for the countless friends we'd lost during the savage attack on the moon. As we dropped through the churning atmosphere, the bolts of lightning and the putrid green clouds set the stage for what lay ahead. We were about to launch the biggest invasion since Normandy. We weren't taking any chances. And we weren't taking any prisoners. Protecting. Commander, in order for our Venusian assault to begin, you must take out the Soviets' radar array inside their outpost to the north. Sky high indicates that the outpost is fortified with gun towers, and Soviet fighters are patrolling the entire area. Take your strike team. Find a way inside that outpost and destroy the radar array. Lieutenant Eldridge's team has already scouted the area. Rendezvous with him at Nav Beacon 1 before you start your assault. Collins out. Well, we've got our orders, and we're Oscar Mike to the rendezvous with Lieutenant Eldridge. Well, you might notice two things. One, I'm not in a grizzly. Two, fucking visibility on this goddamn planet and it can suck my asshole. For this initial part of the mission, there are two pathways you could take. Well, there might be more pathways, but there's only two that I know of. The one I'm currently on is a lot easier because there's only a few enemies on it. Because this rocket tank that I'm in, kind of squishy. It does have some nice weaponry with the Shadower and the Hornet rockets, but they both have lock-on times. Those aforementioned lock-on times can be quite the pain in the ass when you get in close and need to end your enemies quickly. You're about to witness how squishy this vehicle really is. Warning. Damage. Now normally I would consider this a loss and go ahead and restart the mission. But considering that vehicle just got taken out by two scouts, I think I can live with the outcome. Protecting. Got your seeks. Where's the power? Right behind you. This mission is also a little unfair in that it only starts you out with one grizzly tank, one scout, two turrets, and an armory. Until you can establish a base, which won't be for quite some time, you're stuck with what you've got. So I'm just going to steal this scout from my compatriot here and continue the mission. Protecting the flock. Turret deployed. Got your six. Where's the power? Right behind you. I love having to play red light, green light, because my moronic allies will not keep up otherwise. Eh. This is Commander Eldridge at your disposal, Commander. I've just received word from my scout, Razor One, that he's located the outpost and dropped a nav camera at its location. Let's check it out, but keep an eye out for Soviet runners trying to get back to warn the others. Well, we managed to successfully rendezvous with these chuckleheads. Let's head on over to that Soviet base and have a look at it, huh? Well, nothing seems to be out of place on the nav points camera. A couple of vehicles here and there. Nothing too concerning. Protecting the flock. Well, let's keep going.
Dude, don't make the fat kid chase after you. The fat kid hates chasing after people. That got him. And how? Ah, yes, a fine a spot as any could be to make my advance on the Soviet base. Everybody, positions, positions. Heading out. Badger here. You're the boss. Badger here. You're the boss. Ah, uh, yes. Truly, I am a tactical mastermind, and this will never, ever possibly fail. Now let us advance on the Soviet base and take care of their piddly little scouts. Defensive unit lost. Remember that shit I said about uh, my masterful plan failing? Forget it. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Remember how much I love gun towers? I love them when I use them, not when the Soviets do. Commander will never make it by those gun towers in one unit. Collins was right. We'll have to find another way into that outlook. Front door's locked up tight. Razor 1 reporting. I worked my way up to a peak above the outlook. Looks like we could eject into the base from here. I'll drop a nav beacon here now. Razor 1 out. You're talking my language, Razor One. I love being a sneaky snake, Ricky Recon motherfucker. Let's do this. It's not cheesing it, if the game actually makes you do it. And I'm okay with para-dropping into the Soviet base. Let's just hope there ain't a whole bunch of reds waiting to fucking greet me. Oh, look at that. How nice they were to line these up for me. I don't think they'll mind if I take one. And no, that wasn't a cut. It actually does that in the game. Ah, yes, the objective. That alarm can't be a good thing. Just like that, those gun towers are no longer a problem. Uh-oh. 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 No, no, no. Uh, scrap that plan of killing the stuff that was in here. Just gonna leave. Yes, I'll see myself out. Thank you. I think I'll just let that one go. Fat kid's a little tired from chasing after the last one. Might also have a little bit to do with the fact that I had no ammo left. But don't tell him. He won't even know. Building complete. Recycler here. Moving out. Where's the power? 
Ready to roll. Moving out. I need power. Moving out. In transit. Yeah, Moving plop out. your ass on Going that geyser. Make In me transit. some friends. Come on now. Unit factory online. Building underway. Rolling. Unit complete. Unit factory here. Building underway. Unit complete. Unit factory here. Building underway. Unit complete. Yes, I do believe this will be quite sufficient. Thank you, G. Unit factory here. Moving out. Ready to move. Silly turret. Don't you know who I am? I'm the guy that's shooting you. That's who I am. Get the fuck away from me. Alright, let's go move into that Soviet base. Set up operations in there. Ha! Stupid gun towers. Can't shoot me no more, can you? Bastards. Well, looks like I got a radar contact that must be addressed. Some poor hapless commie wants to die. I might as well help him. Ah, the little scout. Thinks he can hurt me. Turn my fat ass around here and get him. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, fuck it. It was a commie piece of shit tank anyway. Leon! Protecting the flock! Yeah, I'll have my boys come over here and I'll secure a vehicle from one of them. Yes, come and hear this, some bitch. Alright. Hey, look at that. My boys were taking care of shit while I was getting other things done. I like it. I don't think I'll ever understand these Soviets. It's almost like we're perfect strangers to each other. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing to rearrange Sometimes you just Get a feeling like you need Some kind of change No matter what the odds are This time Nothing's gonna stand in my way This flame in my heart Like a long lost friend Gives every dark street a light at the end making you guys sit through about six minutes of me building up the forces and setting up the base, I went ahead and just made you listen to Perfect Stranger's theme song instead. You like how I segued into that? No, okay, I'll admit it was really piss poor, but hey, I was trying to think of something, and it worked, I guess. Get out of my way, jerk ass. Oh, God. Hello, hello. What's this? Ooh, the TAD Cannon. That sounds kinky. The TAD Cannon is a really, really awesome Recycling rocket here. launcher replacement. I happen to be in a light tank because the Grizzlies don't have rocket slots. So, 
In just a Building moment, complete. you're gonna see what this thing does. Recycler here. Turret deployed. You're the boss. This guy's as good as any. Well, he was already dead, but you can see that you shoot out a tag and a stream of rockets home in on it. It's great. It is absolutely fantastic. It's really easy to just tag an enemy, get out of their way, their line of sight, and just let the stream of rockets pulverize their assholes into oblivion. It's great. Observe! Excellent work, Commander. Radar array is down. We're ready to begin our assault. That shit never, ever gets old. Uh-oh. That's what it looks like when you get tagged by an enemy who happens to have a tag cannon. It won't, you know, push your shit in. It's not fun. But, it's sure as hell fun to do it to them, so I'm gonna keep using it. sooner or later, but hey, Tag Cannon's awesome. Use it. Now, for those of you who are quite astute, and remember something that I mentioned in the thread, the armory has a special function. Armory here. We're about to see what that function is. Building supplies. Number four is the day wrecker. It's a bomb. Bomb deployed. We're about to see how well it fares against the Soviet base. Spoiler alert. Not very mm. well. And it also costs 20 scrap. It does a lot of damage to ground units, but vehicles like the Recycler that are repairing itself constantly can't really damage it quickly enough. It doesn't have enough area of effect. More or less, it's a thumper bomb. You'll get to see it in just a moment. When it gets its sweet ass over here. God, hurry up, bomb! That's what you waited 40 seconds to see. Tragic, isn't it? Could have had so much potential with that thing. Maybe I'm just not utilizing it properly. I don't know. In a moment, we're going to see how little damage it actually did to that recycler. Mm. Now, keep in mm. mind, as I mentioned before, the recycler, much like ours, is constantly regenerating its health when it gets damaged. So, if you don't do a lot of attacking all at once, you're really not going to get much damage done to it. You barely lost any health there. No mercy. Go ahead and sick the boys on this fucker and see about f ending this goddamn mission, because all we got to do is kill that fucking thing. And we still got five fucking minutes left in the video. Ah, here they come now. I'll even snag one of them as a ride back to the base. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Yes, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Why weren't you shooting? Oh! Because you had no fucking ammo. 
Oh, you fucking twat. And the thing, things were going so well for us. Well, kind of. I mean, the mission wasn't failed, so that's a plus. But now it's just a pain in the ass to run back to the damn base. Recycler here. Ah, uh, finally, back at the objective with some sweet, sweet ammo. Ugh, oh, and it regenerated most of its health. Let's see if I can get it down far enough without running out of ammo. And not hitting myself with my own goddamn mortars. Ugh, oh, Jesus, this is stupid. And I got no scrap, so I can't really make any buddies to help me out. Pain in the ass. Uh, and now I'm being attacked. So I better get the hell out of here because they will chew me up. Yep, that's... Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Time to go. Warning. Damage. Unit lost. If it isn't one fucking thing, it's another. Son of a bitch. You know, I swear to God, I really do have fun when I play these this fucking game. I really do. It's just, it's just shit like this fucking just goes wrong. Let's hope I can get the drop on Boris here and maybe, maybe, finally finish this goddamn mission. Oh, Jesus. You know, that's when your asshole really puckers up, is when you think you got him, and then they look right at you. Next? Terrible. Alright, let's go kill this son bitch. Get the hell out of here. Wanna go make me a sandwich? Run out of ammo, come on. Let's do this. Just a little bit more, you're almost there. Come on, let's go. Oh, Just barely enough. suck at this game. Tune in next time when hopefully I do better and don't completely shit the bed for the last half of the fucking mission. Till then, I'm Colva Cabarros, out.